Please look at camera for entry. Please look at camera for entry. Oh, stand on the shoes. <laughs> Please look at camera for entry. All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call her Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. It's the brother of Baal Gabar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do indeed teach and rule peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. All right, preaching the names of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, prophesying against Mount Seir. All right, and this is just going to be a MOTB update. You know, they got facial recognition and use in America already, man. I believe this was in uh, Portland. All right, USA. It says, look at camera for entry. All right, to even enter, they have to scan your face. You know, soon we know that this is going to link into the RFID C hip, man. All right, um... Let me go ahead and start it off with this. You know, the, the Karagma, the beast system. You're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to go into these stores unless you get down with this new system, man. All right. And ultimately take uh, the mark of the beast, which is the, the RFID CHIP. All right. But this is a Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right, so the visions that the prophets have got, you know, in the scriptures, you know, they're they're speaking loud and clear, man. You know, the mark of the beast, the uh, you know, the world war three, uh, Jacob's trouble, these things are speaking loud and clear now, man, and it's about to be made manifest to the whole earth. All right. And then you're going to know that a prophet have been among you, man. Then shall it be known that a prophet have been among you because the Lord has sent his prophets out to warn you of these things, man. The FEMA camps. All right. The market of beast, uh, the, the beast system and its technology. Facial rec facial recognition. All right. And this is uh about to be at all the stores, man. You're not going to be able to enter into the stores unless you've been tagged by the beast, man. Unless you've been uh, marked, you know. You know, uh, pledged your alliance to the new world order, man. And that's what these devils want. Ultimately, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, starting with their wicked elite. You know, the wicked, the Bible speaks of the wicked, which the wicked are the Edomites. Let's go there real quick. I'm a Malachi. You know, and they want to, uh, they want everybody marked. This is a uh, Malachi 1 and 4. It says, whereas Edom saith, but we will return and build the desolate places. Actually, no, I'm going to go ahead. Malachi 1 and uh, 2. It says, I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. So the Most High hates somebody, right? He hates Esau, the so-called white man. All right, that those are the Edomites. Right, Jacob represents the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the Lord loves Jacob, but he hates Esau. It says, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So the Lord has indignation towards the Edomites forever. All right. And Esau is the border of wickedness, man. And their new plan, you know, their agenda, their, 
or it's not really a new plan, but their plan, their agenda, you know, their new world order is to get everybody on earth tagged with a, a RFID C hip, right? A chip, right? They want to chip everybody. You're not going to be able to go into these stores unless you've been tagged, unless you can uh, prove that you've been yabbed up, you know, unless you uh, pledge your alliance to the beast. But, you know, they got these, all these smart uh, cities, you know, the 15 minute cities. They got it now where certain restaurant or certain uh, gas stations you go in, everything's digitalized. You know, you got the self checkouts, you know, and soon you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have that Karagma, man. All right. See, Esau, the so-called white man, he has a God complex. He wants to be God so bad. The so-called white man wants to accomplish, you know, God status, so to say, and have his eye on everything. You know, let's actually go there real quick. This is Second um, Thessalonians 2 and uh, 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. All right. And this devil, Esau Edom, he's going to, you know, overcome a lot of people. He's going to deceive a lot of people into taking this technology, the MOTB. You know, so you can't be deceived. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come. All right. The day of the Lord will not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition and the falling away is when we fell from our homeland, you know, in 70 AD, you know, and then later fell from our heritage, our nationality, you know, and it says in the man of sin. The son of perdition be revealed, which right now Esau, the so-called white man, he's being revealed as being the wicked. All right. His agenda, you know, his laws, his regulations, it's all wicked, man. He is the wickedness, the border of wickedness. All right. His philosophies, you know, that the the elemental P people, you know, the happy people, you know, the alphabet people, the, the agenda of um, the transformers, you know. It's a bunch of wickedness. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Right? Because Esau, he has a God complex. He wants to be God so bad. Okay? But the the, the, the true power, the true God is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the Lord's going to bestow that power, that God-like power upon his elect. All right? The nation of Israel. Uh, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. That's who's going to be the true gods of the earth. All right. See, Esau wants to achieve, you know, his God status by way of his his artificial intelligence, you know, his his um, technology. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Showing himself that he is God, all right? And that's why he wants to track everybody and every move that you make, you know? You're not going to be able to enter into the grocery stores, the Walmarts, the Publix, unless you, you know, have your face scanned, you know, unless you've been tagged up. And this is all part of that beast system, man. All right? The New World Order and this, this devil's plans to get everybody uh, tagged, you know? Second Ezra 9 and 5, it says, For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. All right. And uh, Second Ezra 6 and 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world. All right. So we know that the so-called white man will be in power at the end of times, at the end of days. You know, before the Lord's return, it's prophesied that the devil, Esau, Edom, will be in power, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And the end is being made manifest, man. You know, this devil's plans, his new world order, his, uh, you know, the scriptures are really just jumping off of the pages, man. And if you can't see this, if you can't uh, see, it's because the Lord has you blinded, man. You know, a majority of our people have been blinded by the Lord. All right. The Lord doesn't want you to see. This is um, John 12. And 40, it says, he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart. All right. So the Lord 
has a majority of our people blind, man. And a lot of people are going to be deceived into, uh, you know, falling into this NWO, taking MOTB, you know, because they're ignorant of Satan's devices, man. This is a, this is part of Satan's devices right here, man. This facial recognition, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, robots and, uh, you know, uh, the new technology and all this stuff, man. This is all part of Satan's kingdom, man. It says, he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. So the Lord has a lot of our people blinded, all right? And you can't be blind and now's the time to wake out of sleep. This is um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, all right? So you can't allow Satan to have an advantage over you and really, you need Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. You need the, the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding, you know, the, the law and to the testimony to overcome this devil, man, by the blood of Yahweh Shai. But Satan is going to get an advantage over a majority of the earth. All right, so let me play this one more time. Please look at camera for entry. And you see how it has like the red lock, you know, because the door is locked. It said, please use the look at the camera for entry. So you got to look at this camera and have it scan your face. You know, soon it's going to be able to see if you have the, the Karagma. And that's how you're going to be able to enter into these stores, man. And really over there in China, they already have this everywhere, man. You know, they got people people paying with their hands they got the facial recognition on the, the the streets on the you know the highways and stuff you just faces being scanned and this is coming to america man this, this is right here this video is in portland this is in america oh stand on the shoes <laughs> You saw that it unlocked. At the end, it unlocked. She had to stand in a certain position, look up at the camera, and then it unlocked. All right? But 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, it said, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right? And this, you know, this is part of Satan's devices, man. And you can't be ignorant. You know, a lot of people are ignorant of Satan's devices. They just think this is just, you know, regular, you know, lifestyle. This is, this is how life's supposed to be. You know, it's easier. But really, this this is part of uh, Satan's devices, man. And the ultimate device is going to be that C hip, man. And that's how he going he gonna to cause people to get that karagma. He's going to back everybody into a corner. You're not going to be able to buy or sell, enter the stores unless you take it. So that's what the hour of temptation is. Everybody's going to be tempted. But Revelation 13 and verse... 16 and he had, he caused the thaw both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads which we know that mark is the the karagma the rfid c hip you know that technology under the flesh they want to tag you you just had the world economic forum said if you want to be a part of society you got to have this thing under the flesh you got to have that that cbdc has got to be implanted under the flesh right and that's going to be your alliance or your allegiance to uh this b system is by getting tagged and that's what they want all right but the elect are going to overcome this devil and the elect are going to be uh kept at a you know harm's way you know the elect are going to be delivered from this hour of temptation it says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have this technology inside of you you know that that rfid c hip and they're going to have all these businesses shut off. You're not going to be able to enter into businesses unless you, you, you've uh, proven your uh, alliance with the beast system. With that, this is how we know we're at the end, man. The scriptures say that now is a high time to awake out of sleep. Now is not the time to be dead asleep, you know, uh, still trying to be a rapper, a ball player, you know, get, get some type of college degree. This place is done, man. You know, you're not going to be able to do none of that soon unless you take the chip. All right, the, that digital currency. But we see that we are at the end. All right, so now, as the scriptures say, let me grab it real quick. 
You know, the end is being made plain. It's being made manifest. You know, the Lord has the prophets on the scene. So now is the time to wake up. All right. Romans 13 and 11, it says in that knowing the time. So you should know the times that we live in, man. You know, these damn hypocrites, you can see when the, 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 the sky turns gray. And you say, oh, look, it's about to rain soon. Well, you should know the times that we live in. And you should know that we at the end. All right. The Lord's coming back soon. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now it is a high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So salvation is nearer than we, be, we believe, man. And if salvation is nearer than we, be, we believe, that means hey, the Jacob's trouble, the karagma, you know, the famines, that's even more close, all right? You know, they got um, the Fed now rolling out. By the end of uh, this month, July, you know, they already got the CBDCs in play. So they about to make this thing uh, known, man. They about to bring this thing out, this new system. They about to roll it out, crash this system. The dollar's uh, losing value daily. You know, and they about to, to roll out their NWO, man, their enterprise. Let me see. This is um Proverbs 6 and 16 it says these six things doeth Yahweh hate yea seven are an abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood and that hey that's Esau man now you have our people that you know they follow the ways of Esau, but who's the most proud on earth? Esau, man, the so-called white man. It says, "In heart that devises wicked imaginations." So the Lord hates you know these devils for devising wicked imaginations. They have uh, wicked devices they're trying to bring to pass, man. And the Lord is you know he, he's allowing them ultimately to destroy them. It says, "In heart that devises wicked imaginations." Feet that be swift to running into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. See, these are the things that the Lord hates. All right. This is um Psalms 37 and 7. It says, Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. See, in this time of trouble, in the time of Jacob's trouble, where, you know, you're not going to be able to enter the stores, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You know, you're re really going to have to rely on your how about and how shy. The Lord said, wait patiently for him. So you're going to have to be patient. And the scripture saying your patience possess your souls. It says, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. So don't fear this devil because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So don't don't fear this devil and his wicked devices, man. His new world order, his karagma, you know, um, as the scriptures say in Isaiah, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. So at the end of the day, the Lord's servants are going to eat. They're going to be kept safe. All right. And they're going to be uh, kept from this hour of temptation that's coming upon the whole earth, man. You know, everybody's going to be tried, man. But, you know, there you have it. You know, I'm going to play it one more time and I'll close it out. Please look at camera for entry. Oh, stand on the shoes. Oh, stand on the shoes. Gotta stand on the shoes. You gotta look up, look at the camera, and then that'll open the door. <laughs> there you go. So there you have it, man. All right, facial recognition is already here in America, man. It's only a matter of time before they put this thing everywhere, man. Artificial intelligence, the new world order is amongst us. All right, so with that, call Hello, Yahweh, Bashmi, I was shy. Until next time, I say Shalom.